Welcome everyone, today we have another underlock game. There's two builds I want to try today, and one is with 6 assassins with some fancy 3 stars, the other one is with 4 healers and 6 warlocks. I know it's going to be overhealing, but that's going to be fine. Assassins does counter warlocks, and hunters do counter warlocks. Other than that, we do really well. <laughs> I mean, those are pretty top tier units anyways, right? So we're going for open forward, and we're going to get the free rows. We're going to chill. Next item, probably not that critical, but if I get an ogre cap, I can use it. Now, if we look into the warlock healers, they don't have any ace units or tier 5 units for the warlocks. We don't have any tier, you know, high units for here as well. I also have only that, <laughs> which is awkward. But hey, we'll use him as a front end tank. Now that means I really want some really high end units, which like Troll Wallout, Medusa, Tide Hunter will do. Second can do as well. Yep, we'll take it. This is just purely for transitional purpose because we'll be using Mr. Warlock and we can use Ogre and Blasica. We're not gonna go deeper, I think. That's a Warlock. I would like to play Warlock there. No many assassins. Chaos Knight is good. Should I keep him? I'll Join keep him. I'll keep Barretta too. Damn, Barretta came back and also Luna. <laughs> Are we going for what I'm thinking, right? Oof. Could really go for Knights though. <laughs> I know, I was like, Warlocks and Knights. Luna with Knights can be pretty good, to be honest. So, I mean, one thing I want to force Warlocks, but if I don't get a lot of them, which is not going to be easy, I can force Knights if I get two more. And that's going to be a knight with the ogre cap. <laughs> All of a sudden we'll change positions. One thing is, if you try to force one thing and it doesn't come with the game, and if you don't adjust, it's going to be very punishing. But if you do adjust, it's actually pretty rewarding. And also you want to check if anyone else is going for the same build, because that will reduce the pool of total units. No one's going for the knights, which is really good. I'm still open for warlocks, by the way. But I need a majority. <laughs> Majority speaks here. Damn. <laughs> the knights are like, look at this. <laughs> Guess who's going knights, guys? I think we will go knights. I, I think I'll go knights. Yeah. Don't have to do much because I won't make the extra gold here anyways on this round. This now, with the ogre cap, I can use the Mr. Wallock actually to pretty effectiveness. I don't think I go for the four trolls. Too expensive. Oh, and there's a knight. Damn. Damn. Which shock this gone? <laughs> it's so expensive, guys. <laughs> I can't even make extra gold next round. So we're gonna go knight and blah blah. <laughs> Change of mind. Don't look at this. We got three bat rider, we got seven knights. It's like incredible value of knights here. Yeah, Luna can use the cap. And I can keep the Mr. Warlock. Then we just get the Necrophose and it's perfect. Those two kind of collected perfectly. Yeah, downside for this run is I have to sell a unit to make the extra gold. That's three Romans. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I mean, this might be a little surprising. I'm going to sell the Abaddon. Yes, he's a knight. But at this moment, well, he's too expensive. <laughs> too expensive to stay with us. I'll start putting down units. Oh, two star units. MVs. Damn. That's so powerful. So, yeah. I'm gonna sell my Abaddon. Because if I get an early two star Abaddon, I won't be able to use him in the next few runs. And he's just sitting too heavily. Abaddon will only stay on two star, while Chaos Knight and Luna will stay on three star if possible. So, we aim to keep those two to three star. Abaddon is just not worth it to go to three star. The increase of shield is nice, but nothing really massive for his stats. Really low attack speed. He's just a tank. No. Likely Luna, Chaos Knight or Dragon I can use the cap. And we'll be sacrificing one Mr. Warlock. Ooh. Calculus is pretty good, but I can roll for something better. No, I did not roll for something better. <laughs> you know what? I'll take mana boots, give it to a bad rider. He can be a mana support. But damn. <laughs> so this is nice. Because I have a Mr. Warlock here, I can sell this one. I can sell the Blastica or make the 20 gold. 
Notice if I didn't sell the Abaddon, will be one gold short of making to the next tier of gold. So selling the Abaddon gave us two gold now, which is pretty big, especially in the early game. Every big counts. I should put down some units. <laughs> Damn, that Lycan's angry. So yeah, I should put down some units. Get this, get that. Roll one, spare. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go back. I'll do it this way. So the Mr. Warlock dies and the rest of my team just comes in to do some damage. Not to think about it, it's gonna be really hard to try six Warlocks. Two gold shot. Oof. Oh, free roll lines for you. Oh, Chaos Knight. Same as before, guys. We don't need Abaddon originally. And the second one's gone. <laughs> it just it's not worth it to spend four gold for Abaddon. That's what you have to think about it. Yeah, I have some units down just to see if I can get lucky and kill one. We might be, because he's going for Blabon too. I killed a plastic here. Probably not. <laughs> Let's stop hitting the <laughs> the balloon bat right there. Do that though, hitting a lot harder than usual. But not enough. But I guess. Shadow Shaman is only good if you go for the four trolls and not really useful here. Yeah. Used to be running Shadow Shaman with Lone Druid and Train Protector is really good for the knights. But they kinda missed the curve. Need two more lunas and one more KS9. No, so no. We'll level up first, oh quite three. No, that's not level, that's row ones. There you go. Because not leveling give me better rates for tier one and better rates for tier two. Leveling give us better rates for tier three. I'm not in a rush for that, you see. I could level up here. Yeah, nothing I do will change the fact that I'm going to level 4 next round. Ooh, take sacrifice. <laughs> Sacrificial Warlock. There you go. I need one more knight to be able to do some damage here. Oh, so close. Duna. One more hit. Oh, she killed a tiny. <laughs> Two less HP loss. Level up once. I could actually power level up, but no, not worth it. So I want to stay on level 4 for the tier 2 rates. I want to find 2 star Luna and 2 star Chaos Knight before I level up. Ideally. But you know, things never go into plan. So, that, that that's one thing. I can lose one more. But after that, I kind of need to level up. So this is the last round, I'll stay on level 5. On level 4. It's only 5%, so no need to rush it. Ooh, that's a pretty squishy lineup. I might even win with double bat rider here. <laughs> this Luna has like she's like a 2.5 star. It's hiding in the back line. There you go, we might actually win. Strangely enough, the bat riders are really powerful. That will actually win. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we'll stay here. We'll use the next round's like automatic roll and free roll to try to get lucky with the Chaos Nine and Luna. That will be the biggest mark. Unfortunately, we did win on level uh, round 9. I actually want to lose one more or two more. My economy is pretty high <laughs> because I sold all the Abaddons. Hey there, Sir Auditor. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Going for some knights and going for a blob on knight, actually. There is no Ooh, interesting. Stonehawk Cock is actually pretty good. You'll take the Cock. Because likely we'll have some units with a lot of kills very soon. Even Luna can consider that, but probably not great. Luna? Yes. But that's why I stayed on level 4, guys. Okay, we're leveling up. Can level up again after. No need to rush that. Nothing too special. There's two sacrifices, and there is going to be a bunch of knights that's hiding in the corner. So those two will be sacrificed, <laughs> and the rest of my team just kills people with Luna. Take my offering. <laughs> Funny when Mr. Warlock is playing, he's always dead. What you want? Holy moly. <laughs> what you want to do? Look at that big tiger. Protected by Batman and Robin. 
Yeah, the bear riders, when they stack onto enemies, the stack is shared between all the bear riders. So if the enemy is stacked to like 7, they do 280 more damage to the enemy, and both of them do that as well. Really good. Okay. Hmm. Ammo. Hogan. I don't really need the attack speed, to be honest. I don't mind the golem. Yeah, let's go golem. So it says, I started playing rank yesterday, won six games, I'm going warriors and disruptor and necro. Ooh, lovely, lovely buddy. Thank you for sharing. Warriors are very solid for sure. I agree. No. Might be better to have a disruptor here. I should swap the bear riders with items. One has more kills, the other one has less kills. Not a big deal, it's only one kill, 50 HP. <laughs> so barricaded, that's what I wanted. And it's all barricaded to protect Luna. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is one thing we can deal with. <laughs> it's the summons. Oh no, they killed Luna. I was not prepared. 2 OP. Wolf's the number one. <laughs> they got me. I need the KS9. Frontlands are not tanky enough. The barrier doesn't know enough. Yeah, three kills. Uh, two kills. There you go. I could put Luna one step back, but she doesn't have enough attack range. Her attack range is kind of short. Hmm, we'll put Rowan's here. Not bad, not bad. I, I can get behind it. What I could have done better, I wonder. This one is going to die fast. And so is this. I don't think I could have done anything better. Should you take advantage of my luck? <laughs> Always end up with Tusk 3, Starter 3 and Juggernaut 3. Yeah, people don't pick that often and that helps you with raids a lot actually. This is a really good idea. This is the build I want to go into, it's like a blood on Warlock build. But the downside is we never got enough of them at the start. Oh, he's got the Bat Rider. Oh no, the Demon Bat Rider is so powerful. Luna though. <laughs> Luna with the bounces. Luna. Look at that Luna. So strong. Gigantic Tiger. This is like a 3 star Luna, pretty much. Don't need. Actually, I can use Ogre. I also don't need Ogre, but I can use Ogre. Warlock is nice, etc., but Ogre just dies and provides so much more for the team. <laughs> Dying is his purpose. So I have 4 Blood Bonds. The blood bomb is not going to be a game changer, but it helps us in the mid game. We can pivot on it and give us so much more. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hey there, KG Kaji. Thank you so much for the three months sub, buddy. Welcome, welcome, buddy. So good to see you. I've been going okay, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Really good to see you again, buddy. Thank you so much. Hope that you're being, you know, stay safe and healthy in those hard times during the virus season, and definitely take care of yourself, guys. If you keep three star starter alive, he, yeah, he marks everyone. They take like sixty or eighty percent more damage with physical. Slada is really strong as a two or three star. I like him as a two star. He's really valuable back then when there's lots of HP on monsters. Even with less HP, he's still very good. His attack speed and damage is really high too. Don't need mango tree. Oof. Hey, this is actually pretty good. I probably won't go for Hunters. This can go on to Luna after. So she is going to kill a lot of things, then she's transitioning into the Stone Pike, we we'll lose the Blood Bond. So we're very flexible here. This is the edge I was looking for. Even better! <laughs> why, why don't we stack both kills, guys? One stacks on the 18 kills with... how much is that? It's 72 damage. The other one is going to stack <laughs> the, the cap. Not bad, right? We're so flexible. So we just got a double damage upgrade on the double Luna. <laughs> He's not prepared. That's a big Tiger Luna, small Tiger Luna. I should swap the two. Look at the big Tiger Luna. Let's see who wins. I think the big Tiger Luna wins. <laughs> it's like a mummy Luna <laughs> with a baby Luna. Baby Luna got lots of kills. <laughs> Look at the kill count. <laughs> 5 and 2. Yeah, Luna loves this kind of item if you can get her going. If you can't get her going, then... Well, that's not going to be good. You just give her some kind of master manners and she can still do a lot. Two choices. One is damage, one is attack speed on Luna. Spin's not bad. 
Have we found my Chaos Knight though? Likely we'll go for more Knights because I want to pivot onto Luna and I can pick up at least one troll. Either Troll Warlord or Witch Doctor. Probably Troll Warlord if I can make it. Luna Kill Count is going to skyrocket. We're going to go to level 8 with that rolling for the Chaos Knight and Luna. Who is that task? Oh, it's a warrior team too. Six warriors, oh boy. Six warriors are very scary. The Barret is so gone. <laughs> the moment he gets tossed like that, he's so gone. Yeah, we can't deal with six warriors at the moment. Too much armor. Too tanky. Okay, one task, that's all. The six warriors is incredible against us. Damn. It's a three stat task too. He just put all his gold, notice that? He rolled deep. So he's out of gas, but right now he just he's out of this world strong against us. Later we need the front line, then Luna can still do work. It's a big hefty loss though. Thank you, thank you so much my friend for the support. Welcome, welcome. Hey there Jeff God, thank you so much ready buddy. Thank you so much for joining me guys. Welcome, welcome. Well, the shop is off, no? Oh, this is actually pretty good. Pick up the Viper too. I am going for more offense than defense at the moment. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Trapper is a brownie and a warlock. It's not that strong though. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, I try to be more insightful with each fight and each, like, you know, gameplay. Oh, look at my double lunas. This one has a ton of damage because of the pike. This one has the ogre cap. Yeah, we're here more offensive than defense. I want to get the Luna to get as many kills as we can. I might actually win. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I do post a lot of videos. And I think maybe some of that's where you guys notice me on YouTube. Because I've been posting lots of replays and gameplays that's more targeted towards fun builds. And just to be insightful. To be helpful. So. Let me try to think. Maybe safer this way. The double barrier does seem to be tanking like this a little better. The this one does have additional HP with four kills. Next round I can up. I don't need a disruptor to be honest. Too expensive and not very useful. Sven's an option on two. Okay, this is one player I can defeat. I think. <laughs> Look at the plastic. He just went back into suicide. <laughs> oh, what happened to this Luna? Oh, she's out of this world. She's so strong. She's out of the world. Look at her damage. The glaives of death here. Look at him. That's pretty level. I'm pretty level a little bit because my HP is not too safe. It's like just between safe and not safe. Pre leveling gives me better rates. I might pick up the Dragonite. So the Dragonite can take the Ogre Cap. Not a big deal with Ogre Cap now. Master Menace is really good. Works on the Luna, but I already have an item for the Luna though. Troll out, yeah. We'll give it to Troll out. For now, I just got on Plastica, <laughs> so sad. Troll out, Medusa. Oof. Yeah, sell the disruptors. Don't need those. I mean, I could use Medusa, which might be the best one. Sven is not very helpful, to be honest. He's just tankier. You see? You know, might as well use a Kaelus. I guess not. Get a bit demon. I should use the doom here actually. I should have used the doom. No this is for the troll lot. The chaos knight gets a stun off. Sven does not do anything when he cast because he's the one that he just dies. Oh my plastic Oh my gosh, that plastic He become a carry. Hey, stop stealing. Hey, someone stop this guy. Someone. Someone. This guy. This guy's not supposed to steal kills. Damn, he's still seven kills. I need to fire him. You're fire Plastica. It's like you get your support, like your substitute on the bench that to play the game, then he fires all the ghosts. You're like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Let the star player do it. The Lunas are supposed to get the kills, dude. <laughs> not you. You know what? He's not getting it, that mask. He's supposed to die fast. And there you go, he will die fast. Let him die first. Ah, there you go, and that's a spin. I can use spin with the, oh, the cap too. I'm not going to rush the spin. Abaddon's okay. 
and he kind of worked with Necrophrose and also the whole Warlock and Healer combo. And because we did pick up Anasix with Rejuvenating Ritual, one of the only other that heals consistently, healers can be used for him. How many did this guy steal? He stole 8.5 kills. So last round with the Master Manus, he stole so much kills. Now he's dead. <laughs> That's right, Blossica. <laughs> be the good support you are. Ogre died too. Luna's angry. This one's pretty good too. All the kind of glaives. <laughs> the glaives here. That's that's half the kills. Uh, good question. Do we roll? Or do we actually level up? I think we roll because this ray we have twenty five rates for Luna and Chaos Knight. If we level up, we will never find it. Tadon is kind of good. Only nine is okay too. Damn. So. About the tide. Don't need Mr. Wallach at all. Oh, Necrophos. Damn. Oh, how I'll make them damn, damn, damn. I want to get the Abaddon in, get the Necrophos in, <laughs> and get a little more in. I'm gonna chill. And now, kind of leveling up may be worth it for me. Yeah, now I'm thinking of leveling up. Sven is kind of useless, to be honest. I want to see how strong he can be with the cap, but he's so weak. Look at him. <laughs> hey there, citizen steps. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for joining me. This Luna is so stuck. This one, though, is so angry. She got broken. Damn, the break too strong on her. No break? No break, you die. <laughs> oh, the glaives of death here. We farmed them little primordials. That's right. Bang, bang, bang. So in terms of kills, then I got four here. Let's buy the necrophos. I have kind of no interest on leveling up. Tide can't be fitted, I think. And my is optional. Yeah, let's level. Let's level up. Start the viper first. Oof. I can push for the level up. Let's do it. They won't be able to deal with this. Get our Abaddon in. And yes, I am one gold shot <laughs> at the moment. I'm one gold shot, but if I win, I still make two interest. Oh, this is a warrior. That's one thing I want to double up for against the warrior and things like that. The Abaddon is not very smart. <laughs> yeah, the goal is to protect my Lunas. And the six died too fast. Yeah, my tanks are not enough. Unless... The Lunas do their thing. Do the Lunas do their thing? Oh gosh, they're so low, guys. <laughs> they are so low. I even leveled up for it. <laughs> Not working. I probably should have rolled, to be honest. Too greedy on the blood one. I need to get the Chaos Knight in. I need to get the Spin in for the, all the Knights. This will have a solid backline. To lose the Ogre, lose the Blastica. I also need to troll a lot. Damn. And to lose that Luna. Moonshot's really good. Mac is actually pretty good too. I don't think I like damage, I'll take the Mac. Couldn't readjust ourselves. And there's a Luna, perfect. Oof, they're a little deeper. Don't need those. No, I don't. Oof, damn, <laughs> that's how I rolled. Not great, not good, not good. I don't want to block in the N6 with her little summoner. Abaddon should be a little more to the center so we can heal everyone, but it's not a big factor. Yeah, here I'm running a little deeper because I'm one Luna away, and also I need to get some upgrades. One Luna means I can put down the to, can put down the only knight too. Yeah, one Luna to combine will have so much damage. That's what I'm looking for. The Sven can try the Ogre Cap as well. I just have enough HP to survive a little longer. Not funny that Chaos Knight though. Dragon Knight is kind of optional. The humans is okay, but <laughs> only now will give us humans. Now is it worth it to lose one Ogre and to get the human and also the... Oh, I already have the healer effect. What shall I see? Sacrificial Warlock might go as well. 
Oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, so many. <laughs> Which doctor is optional? Oh, bad right. Bam, we're running once more. I was gonna sell the witch octa. <laughs> then he came back with one. No, I saw one ogre. Put down one witch octa. I put that one barrel. Ogre's not a must have. The chaos knight <laughs> So awkward. Is this a warrior guy? No, it's not the warrior guy. That's good. Knights unite. <laughs> the healers, the heals, and the knights, and also the merc is really good here for us. As long as we survive, we do tons of damage. Yeah, the cleave damage from Luna is incredible. Look at that. This man is actually pretty durable. To look towards the games and items. I'll give the clock to spare, maybe. You do want the mech on a squishier unit. This way, he can actually cast a little faster. Because he gets low faster. Oh, something happened there. Oh, troll a lot. Oh, oh boy. Shock this again. Troll a lot comes in. Not bad, not bad now. Hey there, Blackman4606. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for joining me. The Chaos Knight's so weak right now. I'll probably lose the Chaos Knight. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting the Chaos Knight out. Oh, and it's exp Oh, hey, she's safe. <laughs> No, she's not safe yet. I need to get a bait. Bat Rider should be there, I think. The Warriors, can they break us? They broke us last time, but now they have having trouble to break us, right? Yeah, next time he won't be able to break me. This time he can still break me with the Tusk, I think. Yeah, Tusk kills me. We'll be back. He's still rolling deep. Oh, he's pretty close. And the six needs to survive. This will be better. Let's do the free row. Need to roll for that Luna. Now we'll go. Oh, oh. Oh, I was gonna say we go a little deeper. <laughs> this one, Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight's not, not gonna be essential here. I'll probably lose one more Chaos Knight. He's already out of date. <laughs> it's like an early game, mid game unit. This is already too late game. I do want to get all my knights in though. But first we'll get the 3 salute day. Oh look at Sven, what a man. <laughs> Min tank here. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good counter against him. He summons, but we just we just clip him. Oh the Doom the Right Luna. <laughs> there goes 50% of my damage. <laughs> Mr. Troll a lot here. My one has Master Madness and also healers. Also Warlocks. <laughs> I can beat everyone but the warrior. I can beat the warrior when I have my Luna 3 star and also my knights ready. And that's what I need. I need two more only knights here. Shivers is good. Shivers make us durable and also Shivers is pretty good item. Who has more HP? Sven or Barret? Barret actually has more HP. Damn. So it's got 10 kills though. Luna? Luna? Ah, Abaddon's good. <laughs> I remember selling Abaddon's before. So, Sven takes it. Barret takes this one. Chola can be in the back. He can actually be hooked. I don't mind Chola being hooked. I would need everybody else to be alive. Chola can just be hooked. <sighs> if I lose again, I have to roll deep. But before I do that, we can chill. I need Luna and also something else. Is the warrior guy? That's not the warrior. It's a three star plus seeker guy. It should be okay against him, to be honest. Because plus seeker can't kill us quickly, and we really bulked up. Oh gosh, that troll was so angry. He got a spin, but it's too late. The damage is already down. Oh, that's a demon spin. Oh, 1000 damage. Oh, look at that. The demon spin. <laughs> I got him. The final boss will be a warrior. Scaled warrior. Perfect. He does not have any range attack, so if we can bulk up perfectly, he can't get to us. Oh, if I get that Luna, guys, it's gonna be like over 400, 300 damage Luna. Because I combine all the kills on both of them, and I use the pike on it, the ultimate late game. 
What else can we get? That's pretty much it. One day, we'll find that baby girl, Luna. Oh, we found her. That's it. That's it, guys. Get all the knights in. Ogre Cap can go on to Sven. Shivers can go on to Luna. Not a big factor, but I just want Sven to do some damage. This is a 3 star Luna, guys. 79 kills. <laughs> We're so ready. Look at her damage. Plus 299. <laughs> Come today with 299 Luna. Okay. Chowada was hooked. That's okay. He's not actually dying, actually. Holy moly, he's not dying. Luna, as long as she gets the damage off, guys, we're stable. Because he get, can't get through to us. I might have trouble with the three star task if I can't cleave him, but I am cleaving him. Yeah. If I can kill the task, I should be okay. Actually, am I okay? She does have a lot of minus armor. Oh, she's not okay. So close. Nova. <laughs> Nova. Uh, leveling up is not bad actually, but I need something more. I need a little bit more. I need the two stars here. Yeah, the knight needs, needs to be two star. Uh, but I think I don't need him. Yeah, I need this group. Avalanche really good. Oh, they dropped her. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, the the Warlocks are gone, pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna give Sven the cap this time. And this this little cap is not gonna be useful. Okay, final fight. If I lose. <laughs> I don't think I lose too badly. Oh, the trunk are hooked in, I hooked throw back in. Now we do have the Warlock with a better disruptor compared to before with a Mr. Warlock. And we're a little more durable. As long as they can't break us, guys, they have no range unit. <laughs> they can't break in, they can't get in. <laughs> this is when the blood bombs are gone. The blood bomb fed enough to the Luna. She's on 82 kills. 3 3 3 3 1. Oh boy. Dragonite, not bad actually. Does only not give us a bit of healing? Dragonite is slightly better in essence. Tomorrow? I'm looking for the only knight. So why Dragon is slightly better? He reduced enemy damage by a little bit. And that little bit might help. <laughs> Actually, why why not in the Chaos Knight? Chaos Knight's gone. <laughs> he needs Chaos Knight. <laughs> yeah, this will he retain the healers too. As long as we bulk up. He needs a troll a lot to stop us. And the Shiver's Guard is very powerful against him. Multi-layers of heal, multi-layers of damage. And there, the Warlock and you know the Necromancer and also Disruptor does a lot of contribution to healing as well. It's like, mate, <laughs> I'm main tanking you guys. <laughs> yeah, the Warriors don't do enough damage. They're great tanks, and if you can't kill them, they overrun you. They kind of kill you just slowly. But if you do kind of like bulk up, you can soak them up. They're not balanced in terms of damage. That's one problem for them. Don't need hard. Don't need Alpha. We roll again for Vladimir. Don't find Venomir. Cadence is not great. I wish you the is not bad. Yeah, we'll use that. It's actually pretty good. Pepe, there. Yeah. No, let's swap those two. Oh, only nine. And Dragon. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at the mom grids. So, I bet you the Tyrant can be here. Sven actually has more HP, but. Oh, no, Sven has more kills, though. <laughs> well, this, this is, looks fine. It looks absolutely fine. I think we look okay. And I usually give the lowest HP unit, now it's Dragonite, to have the Merc, so he heals faster. What did he pick up? He got a Venomir, more armor for him. He got the Shivers, not bad. The three Knights and the Healers, oh, that Sven's not coming out of the closet. <laughs> he stays there, guys. <laughs> he's all red and he stays, he's too shy. <laughs> yeah, there's just not enough damage against this 700 damage Luna. She's not moving. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> she doesn't have the range. <laughs> They toss my knights over. Yeah, they can't kill the knights. <laughs> it's so frustrating. He has so much lead, but he can't break us. He got the troll warlord. The next thing he needs is actually hutlers and also trolls. And he can combine the warlocks. <laughs> hey there, VCD, welcome, buddy. 
Yeah, we don't need KS9 no more. Okay, we're wins. Nope. Yeah, we're so powerful. Just need the Dragonite. And lastly, I can level up for a Viper to have the Dragons complete. Oh, he wants to break me out of formation. Interesting. I can step up one. Not a problem. I wanted the Shivers to catch him. So he went back and I want to step up one. So this way Shivers catches him. It's going to be the same logic. As long as he can't catch Luna, we still win. And he catch Hannah 6 this time with a hook. No. Nope. Yeah. We're so tanky now that... Well, he just doesn't do enough. <laughs> Does he? He did break us out of the formation a little bit compared to before. But look at those two. Those two just, just don't do damage. The Charlotte needs to do damage, but he, he can't even deal with the Bat Rider. Oh, this Luna is growing into a monster now. So you use the OK Cap to farm the kills for Luna at start, and then you switch into the Stone Pike. Now it's like a Divine Rapier. Uh, need a Viper, then we can have a. I'm not gonna spin here. Look at positioning. Oh, his position is a little awkward, though, to be honest. You know what? Now go back. Barrett don't have to be this front, actually. Oh, interesting. <laughs> He's bulking up, too. The tide has to be in the front for him, not in the back. The Tide is definitely a must-have in the front, but if Tide is in the back, he just doesn't do anything. I mean, look at him. He's stunning like, what, a bit of my front line? That's all. Dragon is still puffs when he's in the back line. Yeah, he can't get to the Luna. <laughs> Please, that Barret is just yoloing. <laughs> he's got a cap. Don't kill him. Here we go, guys. Powerful knights. <laughs> the warrior had me for so long, but I know eventually he will round up gas because his playstyle is not targeted towards the late game. Late game, he needs to troll a lot. He needs like a high tier unit like Medusa to do damage, but he will just find in warriors. So I wasn't too worried until, you know, until I can't find my Luna. <laughs> GG, buddy. GG, Moist. So yeah, the Stormhawk, the Stormhawk Pike with Luna is incredibly strong. Any unit that can hit multiple targets like Medusa, like, you know, Sven is not that good, actually. Because he only hits in front of him, around him. And Luna is pretty good. And I believe the Hunters have a few good ones because they're multi-shot. And they hit a few times. But you start with the Ogre Cap. Then you transition into the Pike here. It's very powerful. Positioning really helps as well. And it's a really balanced team. We have the Warlocks. We have the Healers. We have NS6 to heal. We have the Hunters, the Trolls, and also a bit of Humans really nice and hopefully you guys enjoyed this one did not plan for this but i think i really enjoyed the nights like this also i had a great potential in the game too let's go for a few more